guys and welcome to the Myo Minute. I'm Carmen Woodland, your host. I'm an online myofunctional therapist bringing this important therapy to all corners of the world. Today in this episode of the Myo Minute, I'm talking about tongue ties again, but this time I'm talking about the easy procedure to correct a tongue tie. And I'm also going to share with you some of my favorite tips. So first, what is that surgical procedure called? Well, it can go by a couple different terms. You might hear the word phrenectomy, lingual phrenectomy, um, phrenotomy, frenulectomy, or functional frenulectomy. There are some technical differences, but for the simplicity of this video, I'm just going to call it a phrenectomy. Now, this procedure is a small surgical procedure to release that tight, short frenum underneath the tongue. It's typically completed in an office with a little bit of local anesthetic, maybe some laughing gas. It's completed quickly, but what makes it successful is the completion of pre and post procedure therapy. I compare this to physical therapy. You don't just get a new knee or a new hip and go out dancing, right? You've got to do some work before and after. The same with a phrenectomy. So my first tip is this proper and adequate pre-procedure therapy. This is so, so, so important so that you can get a complete release and a smaller wound. But let me warn you, you could go out right now and find 10 different dentists right this minute who will release a tongue tie because they know how to do it, right? They learned how in dental school, but that doesn't mean that they should be doing that it's another conversation, but the most important thing is, is you'll find somebody to release that tongue tie. They may not talk to you about pre-procedure therapy. Now in my practice, I start my clients on their pre-procedure therapy two months before the procedure. We work on awareness, strength, coordination, breathing, and oral rest posture before even getting that procedure. My second tip is, the right person for the job. I don't care about the method so much uh, or the tool. What I want my clients to get is somebody who knows what they're doing. I want my clients to work with someone who completely understands a tongue tie and understands the importance of myofunctional therapy for a successful release. Now there's other videos on my channel here that talk about the importance of finding the right provider, the questions to ask, those type of things. Um, so you can find that here. I'm not going to dive into it here. Now, my third and final tip is you're not done there. So once you do the pre-procedure therapy, you get the release, you need to do post-procedure therapy also. Once this release is, uh, or that restriction is released, you need to rehabilitate the oral structures and work with your myofunctional therapist to restore that correct oral function. So good luck to you on your myofunctional journey. I hope this episode was helpful for you and I will see you in a future episode of the Myo Minute.